Hello everybody, my name is Thomas Ziegler. I am the leader of the automotive industry sector within More Global. Today I want to briefly speak on two issues in the automotive industry that are concerning the whole industry in the moment. After COVID-19 and the collapse of global supply chains, the key issues that still persist in the automotive industry is the shortage of semiconductors and chips. Due to this shortage, OEMs have not been able to finish cars and many months are passing before cars can actually be delivered. While supply chains have started to stabilize in the meanwhile, we all have shifted to a more work from home approach. This creates a higher demand for microchips and semiconductors in other industries. The so-called just-in-time or lean manufacturing has become the norm for the auto and semiconductor industries. Through this method, supply meets demand, rather than manufacturing a surplus. This means that when the semiconductor shortage began, chip manufacturers and automakers didn't have a surplus to bypass it. As a result, the impact of the shortage was felt almost immediately. The second issue is on the question whether synthetic fuels can be an alternative in the future. Hydrogen and all hydrogen-based e-fuels can in principle be produced in any quantity and burn quite cleanly compared to conventional gasoline or diesel. They can also be used in existing vehicles, that means in gasoline and diesel cars. They would gradually reduce the carbon emissions of combustion engines in passenger cars. For producing e-fuels, renewable electricity is needed. Excess wind or solar power that the grid cannot absorb is particularly suitable. However, the production of large quantities of e-fuels is more likely to be located in sun and wind-rich regions of the world. Among experts, a price of less than 2 euros per liter for e-fuels seems feasible in the future. This is supported by the fact that both the production cost for renewable electricity are falling and that ramping up mass production could make e-fuels cheaper. So far, however, plants with large production capabilities are still lacking. Porsche was the first automaker to declare its intention to push ahead with the development of synthetic fuel. The company is supporting the construction of a large-scale hydrogen production plant in the moment. It will be very exciting to see how this interesting alternative continues to develop. I thank you for your attention and look forward to your comments and suggestions. Thanks.